syrup, marshmallow cereal. Ooh, we're off our Fit for Life diet, aren't we, Mrs. B? That's mm -hmm. it. Checo Cam 3. Oh, I hate designer checks. Yellow on yellow. It's the bank's fine arts collection. That's a Mondrian. I think it's pretty. I don't know too much about art. I just like checks that don't bounce. Hey, Sid, this melon's a little overripe. What do you say we knock off 50 cents, OK? Sure, go ahead. Give the star away, Kathy. <laughs> you fuss, but she's got you wrapped around her little finger. Ah, oh, get away. <laughs> Make sure you eat that right away. Unlike us, melons don't get better with age. Hello, Mrs. Van Adams. How are you today? Just fine, Kathy. How's your father doing? Oh, a little better, thanks. Oh, that's good. Life goes on. Well, that's what I keep telling you. <laughs> as long as you can breathe, you may as well be doing something. <laughs> Have you got my title tail? Oh, right here. It's a big week. <gasps> Sybil isn't talking to Bruce. The Queen is mad at Fergie and Alf is threatening to quit the show. It's always something. You know, I was reading that a scientist in Michigan is doing an experiment where he reads only bad news to one group of monkeys and good news to another group, and the group that only hears the bad news seems to be happier. <laughs> Go figure. You know, you get much more value for your money if you buy the larger size. I do? David, put these back on the shelf and bring Mrs. Van Adams the larger size. There's no sense in throwing away your money, right? Terrific. Kathy, are you busy Thursday afternoon? Why, no, I don't think so. It's my day off. I have a ticket for a benefit luncheon for the homeless that I'm just not going to be able to attend. You're always doing such nice things for me. Why don't you take it? A benefit. Uh-huh. <laughs> you know, I've never been to one of those. Well, then you must go to this one. It's at the Hotel Brenton. It is very elegant. It's for a good cause. You'll have a wonderful time. Why, thank you. I'm, I'm sure I will. Pop, I want to get home early tonight. So dinner in 15 minutes, OK? OK by me. I'm starving. Here, try a roll in the meantime. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. Come on, it's frozen. Oh, well, I can put them back in the oven. Oh, don't go any trouble for me. No trouble, Pops. I'll get it. Get it. Oh, Marcia. Hi, Sis. Hi. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Kathy. Guess what? Jeff came home tonight and surprised me with theater tickets. Oh. Hi, Daddy. Here go. Hey. How do I look? Oh, you look terrific. Just like your mother used to look when she got gussied up. Oh. oh. Kathy, hey. do you mind watching Sean for a couple of hours tonight? Oh, right. well, I, I was going home early tonight. I've got a few things to do. Oh, well, it is important. <laughs> okay, sure, I can stay. Oh, good. <laughs> Sean can help me wax Pop's kitchen floor. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> he can watch TV. <laughs> How's it going, Pop? You need anything? Hey, Jeff, what I need is a smaller house with not so many memories. Yeah, I know what you mean. Hey, how would you say we get uh, Gloria to come over here and give Pop a hand cleaning this place up? He doesn't need Gloria. Kathy does a perfectly decent job. I think we should all sit down and discuss Pop's arrangement. You're absolutely right. But not right now. We have dinner reservations. Oh, and has Sean eaten? Oh, no, but you know he's a human garbage disposal. He'll eat anything. Honey, please. <sighs> It's me. No, 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 you can't wear that. I like it. Let's keep looking. We're bound to find something we can both agree on. We've had that for 10 years. Your hair, however, looks wonderful. What'd you do? I combed it. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these society women at a charity luncheon? Mm -hmm. You're going to eat lunch and make new friends. I like my old friends. You need to get out a little. You haven't had a date in a long, long time. Oh, sure I have. <laughs> 
Going bowling with a market team doesn't count. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I like that. That's good. That's good. You know, you can always get a lot more serious about Sid. A man adores you. I could never take being serious about Sid seriously. Anyway, I lead a pretty full life. Oh, sure you do. Cooking and cleaning for your father, racking up overtime, very full life. Here. Try this. Ooh, pretty. It's my lucky pin. An Italian guy I met at Portofino gave it to me. I didn't know you'd been to Italy. It's the restaurant. He was a waiter. Giacomo. He was so... Al dente. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could use some luck. I don't even know how to act at these affairs. You won't just be yourself. You're fine the way you are. Thanks. Don't expect too much, though. I mean, the food is going to be blah. They'll probably serve chicken. Nobody's going to talk to you. You're going to be wedged in elbow to elbow. Then why am I going? To have a good time. You have to jiggle the transmission in order to get it into drive. But give it a good jiggle. in Tarmalinas, wearing nothing but my tiniest bikini and a smile. My clothes, money, gold card, all on a yacht that had left without me. And this gorgeous guy turned up, talked the Guardia Civil out of pressing charges against me, and bought me a complete new outfit. The man was a prince. Oh, a really nice guy. No, dear, a prince, Prince Julio. Oh, I didn't know Spain had princes. And that's how I wound up on the jury of the film festival and came within a whisker of being ninth in line for the Spanish throne. Of course, that whisker turned out to be on the upper lip of the prince's wife, Princess Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> She's so bad. <laughs> All right, how did she look? Oh, she looked very beautiful. She was very elegant. You know, I can't understand why we haven't met before. But you won't go. Well... Actually, I, I don't have a lot of spare time. My, my work keeps me on a pretty tight schedule. Oh, what kind of work do you do? I... Oh, beautiful. <coughs> beautiful. She was a I, uh... She work at the market. The market? Really? That must be fascinating. Well, it has its moments. You should have done Oh, diamonds, everything. I mean, no one's being Oh. Babs. Oh, well, she was Grant, grand. I didn't expect to see well, you here. Yeah. I just dropped by to make sure things were running smoothly. I've got a meeting this afternoon. You still haven't taken me up on my dinner invitation. My cook does a marvelous chicken vindaloo. You can't leave town without trying it. That's what I hear. And it's not rich if you're worried about calories and who isn't today. But it tastes rich because my cook has this marvelous recipe. She takes soup stock and wine vinegar. Don't you just hate wearing raw silk? It's always snagging on jewelry. I don't even wear a watch to work. Something's always getting caught on my cash oh, register. There. Oh, 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 oh. Don't you plumb the fool. I'm sorry. Oh, well, call your manager. Get the supervisor. Do something. Oh, Louise, oh, Louise, no, it'll be all right. Just bring us some club soda. That'll take the stain out. Make it Perrier. No, no, make it club soda. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, just pour it right on. <laughs> it's working. 
Thank you. I'm gonna have that waitress fired. You know, sometimes I think we forget how difficult it is to serve the public, to to cater to their every need and uh, and still maintain some sense of dignity. It's it's tough. Who is that woman? I have no idea. Hmm. I don't understand the first thing about Wall Street, but my husband loves to dabble in commodities. Any hot market tips? Oh, shoot. I don't oh, know I anything about... Oh, I wouldn't want you to get in trouble for, um, inside trading or anything. When I said the market, I meant, uh-huh. The market. What looks good to you? Um... Well, corn is looking very good these days. Terrific. I remember that. Thanks a million. <laughs> Catherine is an expert in the market. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What's that? How exciting. And she's very bullish on corn. You must know Betty Rogers, then. Oh, you must. Well, I... She works at Dean Witter. She's on our finance committee. Well, I don't think I've ever... Oh, Babs, you can't expect her to know everyone. There must be lots of women in the market. Oh, yes, there are quite a few. Oh, I, I really envy you. All those big money transactions, all that wheeling and dealing. Well, I do handle some very large orders. Yes. Catherine is a stock market whiz. That's fascinating. <laughs> but I, I... I know you must have all sorts of commitments, but you're just the person we need to run our thrift shop. Oh, gee, I don't know anything about it. Oh, please, we need all the help we can get, especially from someone out there in the workplace with your expertise. Oh, say you'll do it. It'd just take a few hours a week. It's for a good cause. We just need someone to organize. Okay. Sure, I I'd love to help. <laughs> Great. We'll all help. It's such fun mm. together. Mm. It's nice to have some new blood around here. <laughs> I'm glad you came today. Well, so am I. I really am. I'll look for you at the St. Martha's Fashion Show. And Lisa, you were right. They did serve some sort of chicken. Really? Yeah. Was it fun? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Something I'm glad I did. I want to hear all about it, but I gotta run. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. reserve a ticket for the fashion show. Christy is wearing one of my exquisitely embroidered evening dresses. Notice the bib. Jet beads and semi-precious stones in the Empire style. With it, Christy wears my jewelry of hand-forged brass, dipped in 22 karat gold, set with cabochon emeralds and rubies. Thank you, that looks lovely. Florence is wearing a drop-dead entrance dress with exaggerated cabinet. Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, you'd look great in it. Oh, it'd be a month's pay. Hmm? A morning. Morning's pay. Oh. <laughs> we found that fashion shows are just about the best way to get people to come visit the hospital. Oh, by the way, I passed on your tip to Carl, and he went right out and bought corn futures. <laughs> I bet he makes a killing. It's 
for those of us who are not afraid to make a really bold statement. Oh, I don't think I could ever make that bold a statement. I know what you mean. I once brought home something like that, and my husband broke into hysterics. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. Let's do it again. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> Janice. Grant, hi. Hey, listen, um... I hope you won't mind if I drag Carl out for a meeting this Saturday afternoon. Oh, please do. Otherwise, he'll be camped out in that den all afternoon watching TV. <laughs> oh, uh, Grant Sherwood, this is... Uh, Kathy, Catherine McCormick. Catherine's in the market, and she's going to lend some of her expertise to the thrift shop. Well, I think it's great when busy career women make time for charity work. I know how difficult it is to find enough free moments in a day. Yes, yes, yes. It is difficult. Grant's on the hospital's board of directors. He's one of our most generous supporters. We need more like him. Well, thank you for saying that, Janice. But in actuality, I don't do any more than anybody else does. Would you, uh, would you like a tour of the hospital? Oh, I'd love it. Follow me. I'll see you later. Oh, don't hurry back on my account. We'll have lunch at my tennis club soon. And we feel that upgrading our critical care facility has turned it into one of the finest in the country. Brent. Right. Thank you. Yes, I do. May I see you for a moment? Uh, we've got a couple of donuts. I would like to shake your hand. Sure. Uh, if you'll excuse me. Of course. I'll bet you the largest ice cream cone in this place that I can sink a shot from right over there. Girls can't play basketball. Oh, some girls can't. This one can. Oh, I made it! In your face, Ace. You ready? Do you have to go now? Well, no, no. I, I can hang out for a little while. Play a little one-on-one. -on -one, hmm? It's okay, isn't it? It's okay. Um, listen, um, will you be at the thrift shop luncheon Wednesday? Wednesday? Well, I wouldn't miss it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Hi. Can I switch with somebody and take Wednesday off? Wednesday? Oh, look at this. Something up? Perfect for the vegetables. Yeah, something. How nice it is to see you again. Grant. It is Grant, isn't it? <laughs> I meet so many gorgeous, fabulous men, it's hard to keep track. Hello. Oh, hi, Pop. What? Aw, oh, Pop, how many times have I told you to get that bridge looked at? Oh, we can, huh? When? Now? Oh, but... I... All right, all right, Pop, I'll be right over. Shoot. I would have called Marsha, but you know how your sister is about her daily routine. And I can always count on you. Why were you eating that roll? The only thing I could find in the freezer. Did you thaw it first? <clears throat> it's a good thing you switched your day off, huh? So I, I, I didn't interrupt anything important. <laughs> Dr. Miller's hmm. office? Oh, yes, he did get that call. Yes, I didn't call you back. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Have you seen Catherine around? No. I've not seen hide nor hair of Catherine. 
She said she'd be here. Maybe she's just running late. There's a seat for you next to Babs. No, thank you. That's all right. Uh, I've got some things to do. I'll see you later. Oatmeal for dinner? I have an important function tomorrow, and I'm not taking any chances. Function? <clears throat> Since when are you so? Since I was nine. I sewed my own prom dress, Pop. You did, huh? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pink, wasn't it? Yellow. luncheon. Mm. So did Grant Sherwood. Oh? Oh, look this, Grant. How come I've been doing this circuit for the last 15 years and I've never seen her before? I have no idea. Grant, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry. It was a family crisis. I, I left word at the restaurant. If another time is good for you. Next Saturday night. I'd love it. It's the Man of the Year Award. Terrific. Good. I'll save you a seat. I wouldn't miss it. Well, I'll put your name on the list. The contribution's $100. $100. I'll be there. I stopped by yesterday to see if you wanted to go to the movies. Oh, that would have been nice. Were you out with your dad or something? Uh-huh. Something. Want to go out for pizza after work tonight? Oh, I'd love to. Uh, but uh, tonight's kind of bad. I, I have some things I have to do before I go over to Pops. Uh, but sometime soon, OK? Yeah, sure. Let's take all the sterling silver and put it in the back of the store. Good idea. Uh, look, does anybody know how to do this? Oh, I do. Oh, great. <laughs> These things can be real tricky. Uh, you put fresh roll in. That's it. <laughs> That's incredible. Where did you learn to do that? Oh, that. That comes from experience. <laughs> you load cash register tapes in the stock market? Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. But tape's a tape. Uh, ticker tape, register tape, videotape. It's all the same, right? I suppose so. to the luncheon for our senior citizen center Thursday. Can you make it? Oh, well, I'll, uh, I'll check my schedule. Did you see those glasses? Oh, gee, Janice, it's awfully tight. Oh, should be a nice lunch. It's at Emily Chadway's house. Oh. Well, I'll, I'll squeeze it in. Oh, great. Catherine. This is a company that has some stuff for us. Oh, good, good. I'll pick it up on my way home. Good. 
Hello there. Well, hello. Uh, uh, listen, uh, I think we covered most of the important points. Uh, why don't you go ahead? I'll catch you later. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Grant, what are you doing here? Well, this is my office. Easy for you to say. Oh. Are things so tough that you're a stockbroker moonlighting with the messenger service? Oh, no. This has nothing to do with uh, the market. You, you see, I, I'm here for the thrift shop. Well, whatever brings you here, I'm glad to see you. Come on, let me show you around. It is awesome. Uh, have a seat. Uh, they told me you have some things to donate. Why didn't you call? We could have arranged a delivery. Oh, well, <laughs> when something has to get done, I like to do it myself. That's first for society, lady. <laughs> well, I, I'd appreciate anything you can give me. Come with me. I uh, think I can find a few things. Well, I'd like to take them with me. I guess not. <laughs> I'll send a truck. Well, we're in luck because you're redecorating. No, not redecorating. Relocating. San Francisco. Oh. Relocating, but uh, not yet. When? Not this weekend. And I look forward to seeing you, Catherine. At the dinner, right? Right, right. Oh. Uh, dinner's at seven. those earrings you wanted to borrow. Hey, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Special occasion? Yeah. Oh. I guess you made some new friends, huh? Listen, I know we haven't done much together lately. It's not a word we haven't done anything together. Next week for sure we'll do something, okay? Sure. McCormick. Good afternoon, Miss McCormick. The luncheon is in the garden. You must be Catherine. Yes, yes, I am. I'm so glad you could make it. I've heard so much about you. You have? I hear you're one of Wall Street's brightest stars. Oh, well, I, I wouldn't go quite that far. The luncheon's in the garden. Harriet, darling. Emily. Catherine, hi. Oh, Janice. Hello. I want you to meet some people. This is Catherine McCormick, the woman I was telling you about, who whipped the thrift shop right into shape. Not just the books, mind you, but the shelves and racks as well. <laughs> well, you're the sort of person we're looking for for our women in business group. Please. We're having a sunset lecture cruise on the bay. 
We're having a wine tasting. Catherine, remember, we're having a night at the opera. <laughs> Catherine, we're having a pancakes and eggs benedict brunch at the Polo Grounds on Sunday. Don't forget the hospital dinner. Oh, I won't. Oh, I, I parked on the street. Yeah, oh, tickets, please, thanks. Thank Different. You do something in your hair. Oh, you finally noticed. <laughs> Pop, it's a special night. Oh, yeah? Who's the guy? You expecting anybody? No. Hi, Kathy. Hi. Now, Sean, you mind hey. Kathy and you go to bed the moment she tells you to, okay? Wait a minute. Did you remember Jeff and I got dinner theater tickets months ago? Yeah, we're gonna see the fiddler on the roof. Hey, that should be terrific. Tonight? No, 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 no. That was for next month. Right, it was, but we had to switch the dates. You never told me. Oh, well, it must have slipped our minds. We really appreciate it, though. Bye. Pop. You're the best sister. Good yeah, night, but... Daddy. But wait. wait. You got any more ice cream? I don't know. Let's go find out. Pop. What? I need your help. What? I want you to babysit Sean. Me? What do I know about kids? You raised two of them. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll look out for him. You like wrestling? Let's go get some ice cream first. Dr. and Mrs. Preswell, your table nine. Thank you. Do this to me tonight, you old piece of junk. Congressman Faraday, you and your wife are at table 12. I'm Catherine McCormick. I believe Mr. Sherwood left. Ah, yes, Miss McCormick. You're sitting on the dais. Have a nice evening. Good evening. Nice to see you, too. Nice to see you, too. Hi, Catherine. Oh. Hello. <laughs> well, at least I'm not late. Uh, I think you might want this. Give a little smudge right there on your cheek. Oh. Oh, well, you see, the car was acting up, and so I had to open the hood to look under at the you radiator. You did what? I had to open the hood up, you know, to look at you the radiator. You know how to fix cars? Oh, well, you've got to do what you've got to do, right? You are amazing. Here, let me help. Right. That's better. Thank you. Ready? You look wonderful. Thank you. You do too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes, very nice. Oh my! What did you do to get these seats? <laughs> uh, I'm a guest of honor. Oh, I see. Mr. Sherwood, can I get a few pictures of you with the hospital board? Certainly. Uh, no, excuse me. Oh, of course. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Mayor. Yes.
if I have to wear a black tie one more time... Stop complaining, these... Carl. There's Catherine McCormick sitting with Grant. Oh, the woman who gave you the tip on the corn futures? Mm -hmm. I hope she's right. I'm glad you came tonight. Oh, I am too. It's also... It's also lovely and glamorous. <laughs> Did I say something funny? Oh, no, no, it's just that... I can't get over how enthusiastic you can be over something you must have done dozens of times. It's like tonight is your first formal dinner. Indeed. Indeed. My first formal dinner. That's rich. Grant, I know you're going to work your magic in San Francisco. I'm sure going to try, Clara. I hope I can find a few generous supporters like you who I can squeeze. <laughs> and how is dear Sheila? Not doing too well, I'm afraid. She doesn't like to take her pills. Oh, my. You look after her. I will. And you take care of yourself, Clara. I get a kick out of dancing with you. No more than I do, you old charmer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Anyone wants to go home? Well, that's the best way, isn't it? Yeah, that's real life. You don't feel like a society lady. <laughs> Is uh, that bad? Do you hear me complaining? <laughs> she didn't waste any time making a move on him, did she? I think most of the moves have been Grant's. It may look that way. Grant's the kind of man who only opens a door when he knows it's unlocked. Oh, Babs, honestly. Why don't you just shuck off all your clothes and jump them? That may be next. I'd really like to see you again. Oh, I'd really like that, too. No awards, no interruptions, just the two of us. And a chance to get to know each other better. Are you sure you want to do that? Sometimes maybe it isn't a good idea for people to learn too much about each other. Not in our case. I'm looking forward to discovering the real Catherine McCormick. Your car, ma'am. My car? Uh. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not my car. But, ma'am... Oh, please, go back and look for a brown BMW. Yes, ma'am. Can you imagine? <laughs> How about dinner? Friday night. Oh, I'd love that. What time should I pick you up? I pick me up? Oh, no, no, no. That, that isn't necessary. Well, anyhow, I'm working at the thrift shop Friday night. Good. I'll pick you up there. Friday.
lady, I'm sorry. I, I can't find your car anywhere. Oh, you know, I guess I did bring my Toyota after all. Huh? I completely forgot. I left the BMW at home and brought my other car. <laughs> Isn't that silly? You can bring me the Toyota. Gee, lady, I don't know. I, I can give it to you if you can prove it's yours. Well, I, I, I have something here. Hey, what does all this gussying up and early dinners mean? Can't a woman change her hairstyle and her routine without it meaning something? You haven't changed your hairstyle in 20 years. All right. There's a guy I've been seeing. There's no law against that, is there? I didn't say a word. Good. Just hope this one's got a little money. This one's got a little money. I mean, because most of the guys you bring around here haven't got dime one. Guys? What guys? There have been precious few guys, Pop, and you've had a lousy word for every single one of them. Especially Stephen. Stephen? Oh, boy. You could do better than him. Oh, those were your exact words. Kathy, you could do better than him. You know something, Pop? It's been 20 years, and I haven't done any better. Except now, maybe. Told you. Yeah, right, you told me. Why don't you bring him around sometime? I'd like to meet him. Not on your life, Pop. Grant, can I help you with something? Uh, no, thanks, Babs. I'm just here to pick Catherine up. Uh, thank you anyway. This vase has a teeny little crack in it. Now, what do you say we knock off a few dollars, huh? Oh, that'd be wonderful. Ready? Uh-huh. Boy, for someone who's known for his compulsive desire for privacy, he's sure going out in public a lot these days. I'm so glad you picked a Japanese restaurant. I took the liberty of ordering for us both a platter of gourmet delicacies. To you. And you. This is my favorite, tiger eye, squid stuffed with salmon. It's incredible. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now? Tells me you're not crazy about raw fish. Is it that obvious? <laughs> yes, it was that obvious. I guess my idea of a Japanese dinner is chicken teriyaki and rice, <laughs> and of course a beer. Great. I know a terrific little joint serves the best teriyaki in town. How about ribs? I love ribs. How about next time I take you out for barbecued ribs? <laughs> you're on. You know, you have really complicated my existence. I have? How? Well, here I am about to change my life. Pick up roots, move to San Francisco, and then you come along. I can already see the miles I'm going to rack up in my company jet, and I hate flying. Oh, poor you. You're like no woman I ever met. I enjoy being with you. As soon as I leave you, I start looking forward to the next time I'm going to see you. Really? Oh, yes, really. So much about you, I want to know. You're a woman of many secrets. Well, what you see is what you get. 
Is that a promise? even better than I could hope for. Yeah. It's so ironic. Just when I'm getting ready to leave, I meet this woman who makes me want to change all those plans. All it is is geography. All those flights. I'll be waiting at the gate. It might be too complicated. I could always come and visit. That would be wonderful. But I couldn't ask you to do that. I can move. You can? Yes. I feel so wonderful. I, I don't know what could bring me down. How about if I told you I was married? <laughs> well, that'd do it. <laughs> I'm married. Oh, yeah, that, that'd do it all right. Her name is Sheila. I don't understand. I mean, where is she? You never mention her. You, you, you never seen together. She's in a convalescent home. That's awful. She's an invalid, Catherine. She has been for a long time. She will be for the rest of her life. I'm so sorry. That poor woman. I want you to know, I... I feel a strong sense of duty, but... a little else. I don't know what to say. Keep saying it. Oh, Grant, I don't know. I want you in my life. Well, I don't know what to do. I don't know what's right. It's a difficult situation. I hate putting you into it. Catherine, you just have to go with your feelings. I don't know how I feel. really blew it this time. You told her about Sheila, didn't you? Yes. I panicked. You don't know what panic really is. Women talk to one another. No, they haven't corrupted her with gossip yet. She's a newcomer. Not for long. Damn it, Bill. Why do I always feel that women find my financial assets to be my best assets? <laughs> Has it ever occurred to you that you choose the wrong women? Good point. But I'm sure Catherine is not interested in me for my bank account. For one thing, she has plenty of money of her own. Well, that's great. You found one in a million. You've hit the uh, lottery of love.
going to let me down. Please do it gently. Please, sit down. I've been thinking long and hard about what you said about us. I appreciate that. And the thing is, you don't know me very well. Well, what I do know, I care for very much. And I'm sure that seeing a married man is not the kind of thing you do on a regular basis. Or on an irregular basis. I would never, I know, ever. I know. But I have met you. And I am wildly attracted to you. And it's not your fault that your wife is ill. And it's not my fault for feeling the way I do about you. And I guess it's neither of our faults that you're going away. What a mess. You are the most decent, straightforward woman I have ever met. Oh, no, I'm not. And even now, I'm getting the nicest brush off I have ever had. Oh, but I'm not giving you a brush off. You're not? No. I want to keep on seeing you, Grant. Really? Catherine. You know what made me finally decide? What? Your honesty. I mean, you can't help being in the situation you're in. I know what it's like to be saddled with responsibility. We do what we have to do, right? Uh, yes, we do. And besides, it's kind of nice having a man care about me for my uh, decency. It's not just your decency that appeals to me. It's not? No! Not your decency that catches my eye when you walk that way you walk. Oh, I've walked that way since I was two years old. Well, then you must have caused some very serious problems in nursery school. Not me. I'll show you some pictures. Ugly. <laughs> oh. Catherine, what? we have to spend some time together. Oh, we do. I'd like that. Then let's do something about it. Like what? Come away with me for the weekend. Weekend? <laughs> Which weekend? How about this weekend? Oh. Something wrong? Uh... No, no, no. <laughs> Life calls Catherine's bluff, that's all. And what does Catherine do? She goes for it. Great. <laughs> Which brings us to the next order of business. The major fundraising event, our annual auction. And to the selection of this year's chairperson. I don't know if I have the time. Oh, please. You're the perfect choice. Well... Okay, sure. Good. Our fortunes are in your confident hands. There's something about that woman. What do you mean? I don't know. She's just too good to be true. For the whole weekend? Uh-huh. That's right. Where are you going? Somewhere. Oh, I got it. You're going somewhere with someone. That's right. I see. You have a problem with that? No, I don't have a problem. You've got a problem. Don't start. I'm not starting anything. I'm just sitting here. Good. You sit. Quiet as a mouse. Fine. Got one little question for you. Who's going to take care of my food while you're away on this weekend? You are, Pop. You know that lasagna you love so much? Yeah, I always like your lasagna. This is my lasagna. Now, you can fix this as easily as I can. All you have to do is read the directions on the back of the package. You see here? It says, set the oven for 350 degrees and bake for one hour. Now, do you think you can do that? Oh, yeah, I can do that. I don't want to do it, but I can do it. Good. Yeah, now, wait a minute. Oh, 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 boy. Pop! <laughs> Pop? Marsha? Kathy? Dr. Harris, how is he? I've ordered some tests. Tests? My best guess is that nothing's going to show up on them, but we're going to leave them here a day or so just to keep an eye on them. I was going out of town for the weekend, but I'll cancel. That's a good idea. Yes. Kathy, could I talk to you for a moment, please? Sure. I've treated your mother and father, all of you, for years. <laughs> You're like one of our family. Although why anyone would want to be one of our families beyond me. I think I know your family dynamics pretty well. And I'd have to say that many of your father's symptoms can be traced a few feet north to his head. Really? 
He certainly does not have enough wrong with him to justify your canceling your plans, if they're important. Well, they're, they're pretty important, but uh, in a frivolous sort of way. Kathy, you've always impressed me as being a lot of things. Frivolous is not one of them. I'm going away this weekend. She appreciated the flowers. You are? I've made plans I'm not going to break, so you two will have to hold down the fort. We have the Duffies coming over this Saturday evening. Well, I can't help that. You'll just have to work this out yourselves for once. <sighs> Kathy, you certainly picked an awkward time to become socially active. Can you tell me any time in recent memory that has not been awkward? All right, all right. All right. Go. Oh, I sure don't know what's happened to you all of a sudden. looking very nice these days, Kathy. Thanks. Nice. She looks great. Yeah, well, that's what I meant. You're a smooth talker, Sid. I get away. <laughs> Good night, Sid. Hey. You know, you do look great. Thanks. Almost radiant, in fact. Hey, listen, how about going shopping tonight, huh? Excuse me? Do you want to go shopping? Let me understand this. You actually want to go shopping? With me tonight? Right. I'll stop the presses. <laughs> you know, in all the time I've known you, I don't think you bought as much stuff as you have in the last hour. What's going on? Did you win the lottery? Nope. Catherine? Emily. <laughs> Emily Chadway, this is my friend Lisa. How do you do? Hi, nice to meet you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Those shoes certainly look comfortable. Oh, well, when you're on your feet all day like Kathy and me, it's the only way to go. Especially on the third of the month when those Social Security checks come in. I always go right home and soak my feet for hours. Social Security checks? Well, that's right. Uh, few people realize that there's a big increase in sales from small buyers at that time. The lines go down the aisles. Uh, that's an old market term. <sighs> I see. I'll, I'll be going. I suppose I'll be seeing you at the chamber music recital. Is it my imagination, or is there something going on? There's nothing going on. I just needed some new things, that's all. And you're going to a chamber music recital. That's right. You know, this reminds me of a movie I saw once. There was this woman whose best friend suddenly changed. She started acting differently. Turned out she was a major Russian spy. I'm not a Russian spy. All right. You don't have to tell me. It's fine. I understand. Thanks. Oh, come on. I thought we were friends. But we are friends. You're the best friend I have in this world. Well? I would never keep anything from you that was really real. So? Please. Just be my friend and trust me for a little while. Okay. Well, you're in a good mood. <laughs> Why not? Catherine's back in my life. Oh, I didn't know she was out of it. We're going away this weekend. So you told her the truth about Sheila, huh? No, not yet. But I will, I will. Then what are you waiting for? I mean, why can't you be straight with her? Well, I feel a little foolish, Bill. I haven't quite figured out how to explain it to her yet. It uh, has to be the right moment. The longer you take, the harder it gets. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. I'll tell her this weekend. I'll tell her the truth. Good. It'll make you feel better.
Before you say a word, take a deep breath. <sighs> now that's what I call fresh air. I hope it meets with your approval. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Do you come up here often? Not often enough. Well, come on, I'll show you the upstairs. Are you sure I can't carry some of that? No, no, I'm just fine. Just follow me. And this is the bedroom. Well, you can uh, put my suitcases down anywhere. Be cold. Come on. Let me show you around before the sun goes down. She was wearing what? Sneakers. And her friend was wearing some kind of uniform. I couldn't help noticing. And then the friend's purse fell open, and I saw an employee's badge from the market. Interesting, huh? Very interesting. Catherine's a very devious person. Well, I don't know. She's never been anything but nice to me. Here you go. What are these for? Just put them on, you'll see. Oh. <laughs> We're gonna visit the animals. Oh. <laughs> oh, they're adorable. Oh, oh follow me. Are they cute? Uh, here we go. Oh, hey. Come on, baby. Oh, they're the cute. Come on, big guy. Oh. Come on. <laughs> Not every lady I know who would easily meet a pig. Oh. Uh, all right, here you go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 What's the matter? Hey, come on. Hang on now. Hang on. Whoa. Hey, hey. Okay. You get over there. Wait a minute. Watch it. All right, come on. Come on. Hey, give it to me, Come here. Oh, oh, look at his head. Oh. All right, all right. You get him off yourself. Go ahead. You're not going to hurt him. <laughs> He's a dirty one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Grant Sherwood, what would people say if I told them we were pig people? I'd never believe it. Let me put this on you before you get full of sauce. Keep that up and dinner will burn. Yeah, it does look hot. It is. <laughs> and you're a distraction. Why won't you let me help? I don't want you to help. It's my pleasure to make dinner for you. You sure? You know that old saying, watch pot never boils? Mm. Watch cook gets all confused now. Out of the kitchen, go. <laughs> I could get used to this. Catherine, there's something I want to tell you. There's something I want to tell you, too. What? 
What is it you wanted to tell me? What did you want to say? This is a beautiful sculpture. Which? The small one, the family. You're a man who knows a good thing when he sees it. You're right. I do. Oh, I don't know if we should be doing this. Feels like spying. It is spying. around a little. Perhaps you can't go through those? Why not? Damn. I think they only put out one shift at a time. Like at the thrift shop? Exactly. What are you doing? Janice, look. So this is the market Catherine's been making her killing in. She's been lying all along. I knew it. I knew she was too good to be true. Catherine. Are you all right? Oh yes, I, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. I'll be, I'll be out in a minute. <sighs> oh dear. I bought this negligee. I don't know why I'm standing here covering it up. My sentiments exactly. You're going to see everything anyway. I certainly hope so. And it isn't like there's anything to be embarrassed about. Catherine. A what? Come here. You know, when I was younger, I, I always thought that I'd uh, outgrow being nervous at moments like these. Uh, not that there have been all that many moments, you understand. You are so beautiful. you ever since I met you. I've wanted you all my life. I guess I'm not the only one around here who reacts to things with wide-eyed enthusiasm. <laughs> Maybe it's the company I'm keeping. Oh, I surely hope so. <laughs> Perfect weekend. There's nothing left to say. What is it? It's yours. Oh, Grant. Oh, you shouldn't have. I want you to have it. Oh, 
Thank you. <laughs> Come right this way. And put it right there. Uh, to your left. All the things for the auction need to be tagged and stored in there. Is that an executive decision, Catherine? Well, it's my decision, Janice. Aye, aye, sir. What's wrong, Janice? Well, what could possibly be wrong? I mean, after all, we're in the hands of such a fantastic leader. If something's bothering you, let's sit down and talk about it. Oh, something's bothering me, all right. But I can't discuss it now. I have to get home. Janice! I don't want to talk about it. Thank you. Catherine! Oh, hiya, Babs. How are things? Oh, great, great. How was the market today? The market? Fine, busy, you know how it is. But everything went okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, nobody knocked over any jars into the aisles. The expiration dates on the milk cartons were all neatly printed. Was it a double coupon day? You know. Oh, I know, all right. I know exactly who you are. You're an imposter. A social climbing fraud. That's not fair. I never Little said Miss I... Cinderella trying to crash the palace ball. But you don't understand. And by the time I finish telling everyone exactly who you are, you can consider your little fairy tale finished. But I can... And you can forget the part about living happily ever after. Janice, let's talk. About what? Janice, I'm a supermarket checker, not a criminal. You lied. Well, I never meant to. All I wanted was to be one of you. You all assumed things. And I tried to tell you at first, but then... And then you let us keep on assuming them. Bab says you were just out to get Grant. His being an eligible bachelor and all. Oh, that's not fair, Janice. I didn't even know who Grant was. You introduced us, remember? That's true. Anyway, he's not a bachelor. He's married. His wife's an invalid. What? No, he's not. He's... he's a widower. Barbara died five years ago. Barbara? Well, I don't understand. Then... then who's Sheila? Sheila? Sheila's his dog. His dog? Uh, listen, George, let me talk to you later. Okay, bye. Sweetheart! Don't sweetheart me, you bachelor. Oh, God, you know. The whole town knows. Everyone knows except me. And what do I matter? Darling, listen, I... Don't darling me. I spent years, too many to count, waiting for a man like you to come into my life. And in you come, all sexy, charm, and graying temples and kindness. Catherine, Don't I... Don't Catherine me! I fall in love with you. Charm, temples, kindness and all. But I especially love you for your honesty. <laughs> Some honesty. A cock and bull story about your dog. Your sick dog. Well, if it's any consolation, Sheila is sick. Yeah, what's wrong with her? Worms. Worms. <laughs> Worms. How appropriate, you worm. I was going to tell you the truth. When? I After her deworming? Oh, damn it, Grant. I trusted you. Oh, you lied to me. You, you betrayed me. Catherine, listen. <sighs> Problems? Uh, can I come in for a minute? I, I really need to talk. I'm busy. Lisa, I'm sorry. The last few days have been just awful. And, and that's, that's what I want to talk about. Well, I'm not available now. I'm entertaining. Mm -hmm. Oh, well... Okay. Forget it. I I'll see you at the store. Hmm?
That should do it. But you gotta stop throwing pistachio shells into your disposal. Right. bothering you? Pop, you can always read me like a book. <laughs> now, I wonder what makes me think it's this new guy. Kathy, you and I are just not very lucky. I mean, I couldn't pick a winner at the track if there's only one horse in the race, and you? You're just not very lucky in love, are you? Luck doesn't have much to do with it. Love is a game of skill. Maybe I've just been trying to play in the major leagues with a minor league talent. <laughs> hmm, maybe. Pop, how come the only time you offer me moral support is when I dump on myself? I feel like something else, I think. Where are they? Let's talk. Okay. Let's... I can't believe you went through all this and you never even told me. I'm sorry, but I felt like I was living in a dream. And if I told someone about it, I'd wake up and the dream would be over. I can't believe it. Society balls? An affair with a married man who turns out not to be married? Well, of all the men I've known, I finally meet my prince, huh? He turns into a frog. The world is full of frogs. Well, that's what I get for going where I don't belong. <laughs> anyway, I'm thankful I don't have to see those catty women again. Yeah, well, I hate to bring this up, but what are you going to do about your charity auction? I forgot about that. Just quit. You don't know them anything. Let them get somebody else. Uh-uh. No, I'm not a quitter. No. I may be a fool and a patsy and a sucker, but I am not a quitter. And I'll tell you something else, Lisa. What? Out of the ashes of this whole sordid affair comes a new Kathy McCormick. Good for you. Yeah, good for me. Where are you going? I have some unfinished business to finish. What's with her? She's a new woman. Well, tell her to fill out another W-4 for her. As co-chairman, it's my responsibility. I'll have to go in there and run the auction myself. You don't think she'll show, huh? If she does, I'll eat my hat. Still, you have to give her credit. She did a good job of planning the whole thing. We've got some great things to auction off. We got a terrific response from her invitations. The room looks fantastic. Food smells delicious. All right, Janice, you've made your point. Park it, my good man, and take care not to scratch it. Look who's here. Edna. Do you have all the catalogs and the numbered paddles ready? Yes, they're on the table in the back of the room. Good, good. Alice, what about the refreshments? Everything is ready. Fine. Fine. Good afternoon. Never thought we'd see your face around here. Oh. Well, my face goes where I go, and uh, I've got an auction to run. Don't worry, honey. The only place you'll be running is away if I have anything to say about it. Bid is uh, 
He's a teddy bear. Do what? Uh, do I have an opening bid? How about ten dollars? Do I hear ten? How about five? Five? Uh, 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 do, do I have five dollars? Come on. This isn't about gossip and misunderstandings. Anyone can make a mistake. It's about an important charity event, something that we've all worked very hard for and something that we all care about. Now let me hear five. Generosity. Um, St. Martha's greatly appreciates your support. And uh, I do hope you had a good time. Today is a double coupon day. The auction was very successful, don't you think? Listen, I wanted to talk to Catherine. Do you know where I could find her? Oh, yes. I know just where you can find her. Kathy, your picture's in today's paper. Is that right? Lisa, do you know anything about this? You might say Kathy's had her 15 minutes of fame. No, I might not say that, because I don't know what it means. It means I got what I deserve. Listen. Yeah, I, I don't have the slightest idea what's going on around here. But I just want you to know that 
If you need a man's shoulder to lean on, I'm here. Sid, that's very thoughtful. So, um... You have something you want to get off your chest? Um, you want to go for a beer or something? No, I... I, I don't... Sure, okay, why not? Catherine McCormick works here. You're Grant, right? Yes. No, Kathy is not here. She's out on a date. I see. So why don't you just go back to your champagne wishes and caviar dreams and your wife that doesn't exist and leave Kathy alone? I think you've heard her enough. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is better this way. You know, we've both been hurt. Nothing personal, Kathy. But that's what happens when you go where you don't belong. You sound like my father. Maybe I sound that way because we both know what we're talking about. You gotta stick with your own kind in this world. The ducks stay with the ducks, and the moose stay with the moose. It's a law of nature. Yeah, maybe you're right. Sure. I mean, that's the thing with all of us at the market. We're alike. We're living in the same world. There's a comfort in that. Yes, there is. That's why I... Well, I was always thinking that you and I, we would... We'll always be the best of friends. Right. <laughs> he was a dear, really. He said he, uh, he understood and that he'd always be there for me. <laughs> and that I should try and keep my overrings down. How sweet. By the way, Grant stopped by the market while you were out. He did? Well, what did he say? Don't worry. I talked to him. I don't think he's going to be bothering you again. Tell me what he said. Janice. Well, how did you find my address? Oh, uh, the telephone book. Look, I'm, um, I'm very sorry about everything that's happened. We all just treated you terribly. And you didn't do anything to deserve it. Well, I did lie a little. Not like you broke a commandment or anything. You were a big help at the thrift shop. And you did a wonderful job on the auction. Well, that's nice of you to say that. Well, I... Look, maybe we can start all over again. Become friends. Sure, why not? We'll do that. Come on in. Let's have some coffee. Thank you. Hi. I'm Lisa. I'm Janice. Nice to meet you. Nine, ten, and here are your lottery tickets, Mrs. B. Ooh, they feel lucky. <laughs> Oh, no. I gotta talk to you. I only talk to friends and customers. You got it. Something going on around here? Oh, yes. I'll take you over here. Say something. You've got too many items for the express line. To me. What are you doing here? How did you find me? You have the unmitigated gall to call me dishonest? Babs told you, didn't she? Ah. Oh, boy. I'll bet you get seventh heaven over this. Why didn't you tell me you worked here? 
because. Because? That's it? What a great answer, Catherine. That is your real name, isn't it? No, it is not my real name. Kathy is my name. But Kathy couldn't tell you because you wouldn't want to have anything to do with Kathy. How do you know? I just know. I'm not your kind of woman. Babs and her pals spend more on cosmetics than I earn in a year. What difference does that make? I've never been to the Orient. I've never been to Europe. I, I've, never, I've never been to the islands. I've never been anywhere. <laughs> Boy, I bet you all had a real good laugh about that. About me. Are you finished? Maybe. Good, because I'm not. Who are you to be lecture me about the truth? About trust? Do you think so little of me, do you think I would care that you worked here? I don't think little of you, I think a lot of you. So? So why did you lie to me? Why did you pretend you were married to your dog? <laughs> I'll explain later. It was wrong and stupid. But I lied because that's what I've gotten used to doing with the women I meet. Ever since my wife died, it seems the women I've dated have been interested in me for the wrong reasons, for my money. Saying I was married gave me some defense against it. Well, I'm not like that. Kathy, I know that. You took me totally by surprise. Before I knew it, I realized I was crazy about you, and, and it was too late. Do you know the courage it took for me to go away with you? Wait a minute. Hold on, right there. I am not the only one here who's held back on the truth. All that stuff about the stock market, huh? And not telling me where you live? How do I know what's true about you? What's true about me is I love you. Well, what's true about me is that I love you. What do you have to say about that? That'll be $37.25. Do you want paper or plastic? Kathy. You love me? Yes. We have an awful lot to learn about each other. That'll be the fun part. Wait till you meet my father. Where do you meet my dog? All right, look, Pat. Can somebody please get these lines moving? I'll double bag you. Please do. 